Hello! Super Mario Galaxy. Press R. Oh no. Well, this is gonna be weird as hell. Create a game file? Yes, please. I'm using a pro controller and it wants me to use stinking motion controls. Sure, sure, we'll do peach. Is that peachy peach or is that sunshine peach? I guess that's peachy peach. I think her hair is tied back in sunshine. I don't know why I thought it was sunshine. The point is, we're gonna play this file. Yes. This is my favoritest of all Mario games. A few RPGs, like two of the RPGs come close, but this is probably it. Mm-hmm. Oh god, gee, I wonder why it wasn't. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Da 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 You covered that art of Peach gazing longingly at me really quick. No. Can I not? Wait, actually. Yeah, that's what I want, okay. It is so weird, I'm probably between PlayStations will swap over to Joy-Cons because it is so weird trying to use the stinking Pro Controller to aim. Yeah, I saw a tweet from somebody the other day saying about how they didn't like Galaxy as much because there's no sense of momentum. And I think that might also be part of the reason why I actually like Galaxy, because it always feels like my feet are made of butter and like, especially 64. So having control about where I land and how far I go is great for me. They're all dead. Do you think any of them die? Also, they're like fungi people, right? So would they just be able to like regenerate if let's say like half of their body got blown away? Oh wow. I forgot about the toads with the caves with like the crossed arms. Like they're like, yeah. Don't mess with us. You here to see Peach? I don't think so, bud. You back the hell up. Are the Royal Guards going to actually do anything? I was just about to say when they held their arms out, it looked like they were almost trying to be impressive. Like they at least had some spine. But no. No. The one runs away. And I don't have the spin, so I can't get them out of their little thing. Okay. I'll save the day. Thank you. Really? She's, she's where? In the castle? Are you sure? Really? Okay. All the toad, like, I, I, at least the toads here seem kind of cowardly. None of them are really moving to be like, I'll at least attempt to help. Do those laser beams have nipples? The nipple beams? Yeah, Luigi's 
easily scared, but he at least tries to do things, so I wouldn't call him a coward, per se. He actually might be the bravest man in the entire game. Sure, Mario always steps up and saves Princess Peach, but he might just have no sense of self-preservation. So many times Mario is portrayed as such a blank canvas, he might not actually have a personality. He just might be a drone. Because he's doing what he's programmed to. But Luigi, on the other hand, he's terrified. He's pretty sure he's going to die, and he'll do it anyway. What a guy. That Luigi is. That bridge is... Somehow staying aloft, I'm not really sure how. I like how they give the planet, like, an atmosphere. It makes it very clear that we are in space and should not be able to breathe. So that's like a magic Koopa, and Kamek is separate, right? And Kamek has a crush on Yoshi because of Yoshi's Island. Wonder if they had to get permission for that, or if they were just like, okay, here's this androgynous, like, dinosaur creature. He eats things and somehow poops out eggs. Is that a way to, like, reproduce for him? I don't know. Who frickin' knows? Anyway, there's this weird Koopa on a, you know, on a magic wand broomsticky thing, and she has the hots for Yoshi. This weird, almost... Well, that's pretty neat. Weird, almost blasphemous creature. I'm gonna outmaneuver you! Wait, how do I... Do I not have a- I guess- okay, I guess we don't have a dash, I get- Yeah, I think actually I was just watching a video where they said about how we don't have a dash. Okay. I knew it! You thought you could bamboozle me. But it is I who shall be bamboozling you. Right on the butt there. Also. If. These Lumas can turn into rabbits and then turn back. Does that mean that the ones that turn into full size planets can turn back into Lumas? What does it mean? Ooh, I think this is our main one. <gasps> the grass, you say? Do you mean the non-mode grass? Wait. That's... It. I thought I already did that, or was that another patch of weird, flappy, tree, bush things? Mama. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess I won't do anything too fancy. Let's just go up to the top. No, nah. darn it. It's fine. Do you have like a shorter name for it? Can we just call it Gateway? Someone made the point to me, like, I think somewhat recently, that as popular as Rosalina became, they don't really make her playable all that much. 
She's playable in 3D World. Yeah, I think it's World. Land, I believe, is the Game Boy. Yeah, the DS one. And she's playable on a bunch of spin-offs that don't really count. Like Mario Party and freaking Well, sports games like tennis. And also like cart. Also, isn't Rosalina more or less a god? Uh-huh. Good advice. Okay, I wanted your bits. I don't need coins, but I could use some bits. Ouch. I thought I could outrun it. Silly me. Aye, aye. But yeah. It seems like Rosalina should be able to just kick Bowser's ass herself, though. I guess that's where I was going with that. Also, picking up lives is pointless in this game because it won't save it in between play sessions. So you can get like a million, billion, jillion extra lives. And then when you come back, it'll just be like, mmm, no, no, you had four. It's like, I didn't. I had a million billion lives. I'd be like, no, pretty pretty darn sure. Yeah, okay. A hundred percent of this game. Don't don't you tell me things. But yeah, I I think that it was really annoying though. I was like playing Mario 64. Part of that was up on the channel, if you're interested. But yeah, it's the same thing where, regardless of how many lives you have, in between play sessions, it'll just reset you back to four. So there was one part I was playing the game, and my hat was stolen. So I'm thinking to myself, eh, no big deal, right? No big deal. I'm almost through with this play session, so I'll just leave it. Like, I'm not gonna bother screwing with the vulture. Come on! I want to get those things up there. Okay, there. I don't know how you're all the way over there. But yeah, I just didn't want to fly around with the stupid wing cap so that I could get my hat back from the vulture. So I'm thinking to myself, well, since I'm almost done, I'll just quit. You know, I'll do a few more stars and then I'll quit and when I come back I'll surely have my hat because if the game is not smart enough to be able to save like you know my 10 lives I have right now surely it's not going to bother you know remembering that I didn't have my hat the last time Is there an actual time limit, or are you just saying before it's too late to give a create a sense of urgency to make this seem a lot more epic than it is? Because it's a tutorial. So then, yeah. I'm like halfway done, Luma baby. So, you know, I stop playing frickin' 64, I come back, and wouldn't you know it, I have it four lives, like always, but it's still remembered that I was missing my hat, so I need to go all the way back to that level, which I cleared out that floor, so I didn't need to go back to that level for anything else other than my hat. I just feel like there should be some consistency with crap like that, like, no, 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 we can't remember how many lives you have, but we can remember this dumb little detail. If you're gonna set me back to a starting point, set me back to a starting point. Don't pick and choose what factors contribute to that. I don't know. Does this bother anyone else? Or am I just getting annoyed about something that does not matter at all? If I had millions of dollars, I would construct a home in the shape of Rona, yeah, Rosalina's observatory. Complete with floating in the sky.
Did I? How's it going? At least they'll survive now. They almost have to start eating each other. Whoa! Whoa! This frickin' Mario! Don't frickin' oh yeah, yeah. Make it dark. She is typically with a black Luma, and yet in Smash Brothers, they show her... At least they start her out typically with the, you know, white-ish Luma that I have. It's interesting how she always says special one. Is it because they wanted to keep Princess Peach and Mario's relationship vague? Like maybe they are just good friends and Mario just, you know, is a plumber that freelances as a hero in exchange for kisses and cake. Or it could be a colloquialism from the universe that she's from. Since it's like implied quite a few times that she's from like a dead universe. Because I don't know, time cycles and infinite loops and all that jazz. Or maybe she just doesn't want to, you know, like maybe she's just super easily embarrassed by things like, you know, terms like girlfriend, boyfriend, you know, lover, loved one, betrothed, whatever their actual relationship is. I played to the end of Odyssey, I know things. Sam and I are playing through that now, so I'll comment on the whole ending to that when we get there. Whichever way it goes. Okay, one mission in this galaxy. Dino Piranha, or am I supposed to say Dino Piranha? Because it is a dinosaur-esque piranha. But... But, 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 sometimes they just want to pronounce things weird because... reasons. I should really... That almost worked. Don't even pretend that it didn't almost work. Okay, now what does this actually do? Okay, cool. Do -do 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 -do. It's a secrety thing. And if I shoot the yellow bits on the walls, it'll grant me a coin, which will heal me. But if I'm at full life, it's actually better to use star bit. Well, to keep star bits. Then to get coins. If I need a hundred coins, the mission will tell me that I need a hundred coins. Yeah, give me them bits. Give me the give me the give me the bits. Give me the bits. Give me the bits. Using to feed my babies. My baby lumas. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think part of Rosalina's, to go back to it though, part of Rosalina, I think part of her charm might just be her design. My sister likes Rosalina because she likes all female characters, but I have one friend who he hasn't even played Galaxy, but he's like, I play Rosalina in Smash. Because I love her. I don't actually know if that's it. It could be. Maybe that is his waifu. Should I ask? Should I secretly record him and ask? Admit it. Is this your waifu? 
your waifu for laifu. How many waifus can one person have before they become a whore? Oh, okay. I'm trying to do this without... You know what, I'm just gonna do it. It would really help me out if I knew whether turning you into things was actually, you know, like, more or less killing you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get... Oh, darn it. I was off a bit. You know what? Since I'm recording, why don't I actually just do this? Although I can get the jelly-filled rocks. I could kill them all if I wanted to. And I'm not in a hurry. Whoops. And that's just dumb on my part. I need to get back into the swing of weird camera angles and crazy gravity effects. But I'm pretty sure I can. I freaking love this... Gam. Oh? Come on. But yeah, I really think I need this thinking... Joy-Cons. So I think having one dedicated to actually pointing will make this much better, much easier. Yeah? Ooh, I died already. Good, good. I also need to figure out how to manipulate the camera better. Unless such things are forbidden. Am I gonna die doing this? Actually, I could do... Hmm. Yeah. That took me... More tries than I would have figured. What am I going for? Is this a secret star, or is this just, like, a special thing? Because I was expecting to do, like, a quick little mini bit here. I wasn't expecting it to be quite so in depth. Is this an alternate path? Okay, come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Give me them bits. Give me the bits. Give me the bits. Give me them, give me them, give me them star bits. Is this... Is this... An alternate path? Well, it's obviously an alternate path, but is it an alternate path to the main objective? Or have I gone, like, you know... Have I discovered something? Something secret? Maybe it was considered harder to go through the boulders, and this was, like, supposedly a shortcut? I mean, I was kind of hoping for something real special and cool, but okay, screw you. I'm gonna kill that baby. It's okay to kill the baby as long as they're an ugly monster thing. Nobody cares if you kill the baby as long as it's not a person. I don't think there was any game that illustrated that more than frickin' Metroid Other M, oddly enough. I want the bits. I could've killed you, I chose not to. How will you spend the extra few minutes that that bought you? Yeah, in Other M, you fight, like, this one creature that... It's ugly as sin, it's obviously an abomination, it's, like, part organic, part, like, you know... Part mechanical, just like a sci-fi abomination. But every time, like, you shoot it, it wails like an infant. And I remember just fighting them, like, I don't... I don't like this. This is... This is very uncomfortable to me. 
Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Killing babies. That's how we do. Baby boo. Well, anyway, this is as good a time as any to end it. Thanks for watching. I love this game. You probably shouldn't kill babies no matter how ugly they are. And come back around tomorrow if you want to watch some more of this. Have a lovely evening.